good morning it's absolutely beautiful out here here on the cut just heading out towards the ocean now and all i can say is wow what a day the, the water is like absolute glass it's flat as a pancake it's no wind whatsoever and i think it's going to be like that for the whole weekend so it's looking good to get out on the boat but oh geez what a perfect way to start the morning just cruising up here watching the guys fishing over at the side yeah this is living the dream again wake zone we've got a limit of eight knots which is rather slow so got a nice cruise up the cut here you never know there's always some dolphins around we might catch up with a few of them on the way out there they sometimes jump in your wake and start dancing around and playing around so we'll see what we find out here but oh geez i'm excited today what a beautiful beautiful morning it's nice to see so many people out enjoying it being on the water being at the side there having a the fish unbelievable should warm up too as well I'm sure my friends back in England are laughing at me right now. I've got my uh, got my wetsuit pants on. I've got my uh, got my rashi on and my nice thick wetsuit jacket, riding jacket. Um, obviously, nine degrees is pretty cold when you're used to 20, 25, 30 degrees plus. So yeah, it is a bit fresh. As uh, so I you should expect it up to about 23 degrees during the day. Perfect conditions for jet skiing. Oh, I can't wait to get out there today. It's looking absolutely. So 
five knots in the marina, eight knots in the, um, in the waterways, but yeah, we've got a few winter bays and a lot of people. Not too bad today, it's a Friday, so it's relatively quiet. As I say, we're just turning into the, um, just turning into the marina now. most important thing this morning is I got my coffee from uh, Delights Cafe here on the Mandarin Marina. Absolutely hitting the sport. I had to go for a large one. It's one of those mornings. I'll take you for a little trip around here. It's a really nice little place down here. I'll show you some of the different um, different restaurants and stuff. It's nice. Nice spot to go. If you're ever in Mandarin you want a, you want a nice uh, evening out or an afternoon out some some good little restaurants and cafes good bit for, good spots for breakfast good spots for dinner great place to come down bring the boat bring the ski you just go and explore I think you get three hours on the jetty that you can park up and this is one side there is the other side as well which has more restaurants and bars etc so yeah plenty of things to do for down this neck of the woods dolphin of the day just seen him duck under probably fishing around here in this little open piece here he goes a couple of them there just seems to come up and there's some little mates over here we'll just go and have a look see what's going on make sure there's no other boats around joys of mandra this is what i love out here you're getting out in amongst it some dolphins i'll be feeding around here they always do just take it nice and steady and then short for Probably off doing their thing. Yeah, we'll leave them be. Continue on down towards the uh, Peel Inlet. So there you go, nice cruise. We're just heading in towards the Mandra Foreshore now. Just cruising up the inlet. It's just nice and flat. Pretty quiet today. There's not many people about. Especially for a Friday, I thought it might be a bit busier. So um, yeah, we're just going to cruise on up, see what's going on. Plenty of plenty of wildlife about. We've already seen the dolphins, a couple of dolphins birds, loads of bird life down this neck of the woods, it's absolutely beautiful, just a nice gentle cruise, still at that 8 knot zone, so we're just cruising down the um, down the inlet at the moment, obviously can't go mental until we get a bit further down, um, so we're just going to take our time, be courteous to the other boat users, etc, but yeah, what a beautiful morning, this is shaping up to be very nice. I don't know if you guys can see over to my right here, I'll try and move a bit closer, this is the, uh, the Mandra War Memorial, it's a beautiful little spot, um, there was, uh, I was obviously away but we had the Anzac service on Monday, um, every year they uh, remember the uh, diggers of Australia and New Zealand on the 25th, um, and the great thing about this memorial is it's, um, it's a river running up down to the uh, down to the inlet, it's really beautiful, I'm just going to slow down a bit, I've got a kayak in there. And um, yeah, it's it's absolutely stunning. Very um, quite striking when you walk around there. And you go in and see it. It's very um, very poignant.
take our time. Wow, look at the little fish running down. That's so cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so shallow along here. But well, here we go. I think we're in the right area. We're heading over to uh, the Cooper Mill now. As you can see, it's very, very shallow water. Um, yeah, we're going to take a little run up there and see what's going on. Just coming in on a very low idle. I don't know this water too well. As you can see, it's not very deep at all. Looks like it's all sand. And there's a little jetty over there, which we're going to run over to and try and, uh, try and uh, tie up on. We'll go and explore. See, it's very, um, very old-fashioned. Looks like they've got a little barge that goes across as well. A little barge that takes, I don't know, people across, I guess, or whatever. Let's see if we can, uh, see if we can go and explore it. I might, I'm definitely going to get the drone up. This looks so cool. We don't want to be part of the ski in front of that. How cool is that? the old abandoned stuff. How wicked does that look? go over from Cooper Mill and who would have thought they've got a barbecue area I would never have known that picnic area okay it's around the other side and I reckon there's yeah there you go there's another jetty there so we can go and check that out okay let's go and have a look see what they've got in here so there she is in all her glory I'm presuming the windmill side would have been the other the other place but let's go in and have a look I can't believe this is open up There you go, let's go in and see what they've got here. It's a map of where we are. There you go, you have a bit of the old ceiling. Jeez, daylight through there. I do like the down lights they keep in there. It's really, oh, it's an old anchor. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful drawing. A big beautiful painting back in the day. What have we got here? Mm. Ah, yeah, the windmill's no longer there. The wind shaft that would have been up in the next room. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Explain how it works. So this is bit would have been where all the workings were back in the day. Obviously not there anymore. Well, there you go. Nice little adventure, right? Take the ski out, you never see, never know what you're gonna find. Here we come outside, here you go. You wouldn't have thought there was old stuff out, it's probably in the roof. If we get a better idea from the drone shop. There you go folks, that was Cooper Mill. Pretty cool little old fashioned mill. Don't get many things like that around here now. Certainly not in Australia. Anything you know, over 50 years old is considered an antique at the moment, you know? So that's pretty cool to see. How rustic is this whole area? I mean, I love it. It's awesome. Well, we're heading back now. Um, I'm going to head down towards South Yonder up. We'll have a bit of a spin there. See what's going on down there, and then we'll head across the um, we'll head across the inlet. 
Alright guys, I'll catch you out in the water. You guys have got the right idea. That looks so much fun. Have a good one. There you go, folks, a little uh, jet ski adventure around Mandra in the field of Um Yeah, it's been good fun. I'm just gonna head back into Port Bar now, we'll get this, uh, get the ski back on the uh, trailer, give it a bit of a wash down, get it all ready for the next adventure. Hey, that was good fun today. Had a whale of a time out there. A little bit of a play there in the end, always good fun, but um, yeah, it's nice to see Cooper Mill that first time down that way. First time in the water down at South Yonder Up as well, which was always cool. So yeah, you know, we'll just get it back in now and um, here we go again, get her cleaned down and we'll see where we head out next time on a, an aquatic adventure. Thanks for watching folks, I'll see you next time.